Welcome to Hindsight 2021 for the third week of November. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected workers so hard this year that they have stopped working. 3% of the nation's workforce quit their jobs in September, and now there are 2.5 million more jobs than people to fill them. This is why you pull into a drive through line for morning coffee and then get it just in time for afternoon tea. But it's not just Americans walking away from work. Monty Python actor John Cleese heard about student complaints involving an art historian who impersonated Adolf Hitler during a free speech debate at Cambridge University two weeks ago and silly walked right out the door. Cleese, a Cambridge alum, was due to appear there last week, but since he also impersonated Hitler on television some 45 years ago, decided to blacklist himself before someone else does. Now, you'd think that maybe this little woke-up call would bring some sanity to the situation, but no, Cambridge doubled down. The maligned historian in question, Andrew Graham Dixon, apologized for his actions, said his intentions were good, but was still banned from ever again speaking at the free speech organization. Doesn't sound all that free after all, actually. Oi, Cambridge students, fans of Lord of the Rings, are ya? How about that Gandalf? Love him, eh? Do you know, he portrayed Hitler in a movie called Countdown to War in 1989. And where did Ian McKellen go to college? Oh, Cambridge. Hey kids, don't bother taking your final exams this year because you shall not pass. Also getting failing grades is the ridiculous social beef between Big Bird and Bird Brain. America's favorite foul from Sesame Street tweeted earlier this month that he has now been vaccinated against COVID-19. That seemed to ruffle the feathers of Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who shot back an accusation of government propaganda, the intimation being that children are somehow being brainwashed by the government. Look, we get that the impact of puppets and animation on young ones can be great. I mean, remember this ungulate from the 80s and 90s? Joe Camel promoted cigarettes to children, but the government stepped in because, you know, smoking causes cancer. We have no idea what the COVID vaccines do, except make it harder to get COVID. Additionally, if Ted is so worried about what the Muppets teach our children, why doesn't he care about all the other things Sesame Street represents on TV, like homosexual lifestyles, eating disorders, agoraphobia, obsessive compulsive disorder, methamphetamine addiction, cronyism, rage disorder, narcissism, and just straight pimping. It's amazing all those young viewers didn't just turn into socialist robots, right? Besides, this isn't the first time Big Bird took a needle. Here he is getting a measles shot back Don't in 1972. Vaccinate. Yeah, huh? Ted Cruz seems like more of a Sam the Eagle type guy anyway. And now there's more to beak your interest. A parody account has announced Big Bird's bid to unseat Cruz in the 2024 election. And now that I think of it, there is at least one thing that these two candidates do have in common. They both seem to rely on imaginary friends. And that's your news. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with Fresh Hindsight.